so a lot of people are going downhill. A lot of people are compromising because of hopelessness in the country, because of despair, because of a lot of challenges. I wouldn't want to undermine anyone's challenge. But I want to just encourage us that it's not supposed to be so. I want to pray that there is going to be a, 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 a shall I say, a paradigm shift. A paradigm shift. That's going to be heralded by you and I as believers. We want to pray that, oh Lord Jesus, based on the way the trend is going, looks like a lot of youth are more and more losing interest in the things of God. A lot of youth are more and more, when you talk about Christianity, they may not, but deep down, they look at you and say, okay, you continue. Uh, I'm trying to find a way to a means of livelihood. You are there talking about God. The faith of people is wailing. People are compromised. But it's also supposed to be so. I pray for that paradigm shift, for a turnaround, for a revival, for, 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 for the I say, progress, for, for the way the, the, the negative trend to be reversed in the name of Jesus. That, as I said earlier, scripture says, when all men say there's a casting down, we the youth who know God, the Bible says we should do exploits. We should say there's a lifting up. I want to pray for, for the negative trends in society to be reversed in Jesus' name. You may know a brother or sister who may be unemployed. I want to pray that God will come through for that brother or sister. Some brother or sister who may be losing faith in God because of economic challenge, relationship challenge, something that is not going too well for the person. The word of God doesn't allow the status quo. I want to pray that based on the word that it's going to be turned around in any negative trend, any negative trend, any negative trend among the youth. You may have a cousin somewhere who may, who may have gone into some addiction or into certain kind of lifestyle because of some hardship. I want to pray for grace and mercy for that one. I want to pray that that one will remember his God and the faithfulness of his God. I want to pray that that one will, will not lose the mark in the name of Jesus. I want to invoke the, the, the word in the life of that one in the name of Jesus. So inspiration is from above. The other day, Job said, I thought gray hair should speak wisdom and multitude of years understanding. But there is a spirit in man and the breath of the almighty God gives me understanding. I thought gray hair should speak wisdom and multitude of years understanding. People of God, the inspiration of the most high makes a lot of difference. I don't know what you are trusting God for, but I believe you are not too young to be used by God in an exceptional way to provide a solution to society. You're not too young to be a billionaire. No, you're not too young. How old was Mazakabek and Co. Bill Gates, them, when they became billionaires, when they started the projects? How much more we in Christ? You want to pray? Last prayer. Bible says the inspiration of the Most High giveth understanding. I pray for uh, maybe you are into some profession, some business, academia, whatever your field is. I pray for grace to excel. Ideas, fresh ideas, grace to excel, to be an example in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Paco Bo Shambo Rabo Santa Lava Hasatas, Kazumin in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Um, please, if we are the back, kindly let's come forward and join our brothers in front. And if we are outside, I would beseech that we all come inside. I will beseech that we all come inside. We are about to start the program. 
Please, and if there are any contestants around in the auditorium or outside the auditorium, please let's come around. Let's come around. I hope I, I know we are all learning, but let's let's still come around. Please let's come around. Let's come around. Amen. Amen. So um, I'm going to do a short roll call. Um, not personal roll call per se, but the winks. Because we need to know the contestants that are around and the wings that have been represented. Please, I hope you get me. So, um, please, are there um, the contestants for the Heavenly Jewels? Heavenly Jewels. Heavenly Jewels, they are not around. Drama. They are around. Drama is around. Prisons. Prisons. I think I saw Nancy. Prisons. I think I saw Nancy around. Prisons. Schools outreach. Mr. Ken. <laughs> I was. Okay, please then, if drama is around, they should come around. You can come around and just, they are coming. Okay. Okay. And um, I'd like to say that we are very grateful for your presence here. Um, today, it, today is going to be a wonderful day because we are going to learn a lot of things and you would have the chance, okay, to know something new. And I would like to, before we even start, I would like to congratulate and also say a big thank you to the Wings, um, their presidents and their leaders um, for choosing people to represent their Wings. And it's not easy standing there or sitting there. It's, it's not going to be easy. But we've prayed for them and I know that they've planned ahead as well. So, um, our quiz master for today is our own brother, Isaac Opuni. So he'll be taking the seats. <laughs> we are not being biased, but he'll take, <laughs> he'll take the seat. And so um, let me start all over again. Drama. Drama is around. Hey, why do I have a feeling you guys? Okay. Um, schools outreach. Schools outreach. Prisons. Prisons. Where is Nancy? Okay. I think we still have some time. If they don't come, then it means they forfeited. Oh, yeah, you can take your seats. No, 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 not yet. You don't take your seats. So, uh... We would want to wait for a while, even as um, they come. Even as they come. Okay. So, um, I'd like to share a short exhortation. Okay. I know we will not be listening to the word of God today, but I'd like to share a very short exhortation. Please, I hope you are listening to me. Oh, and now you guys are busy learning, so... You are learning it. You are learning. You are listening. Very good. I want to share something very simple tonight. I learned something. Uh, Jesus was teaching me something probably I think last week or last two weeks. And I think it's an advice to all of us here. And it's also an admonishment. I hope we all know something about Abraham, how God told him that come out of your country, come out of your family, and come out of your father's house. That is Genesis chapter 12. Okay. I found it very intriguing because the, the, the progression, how he said, get out of your country, 
get out of your family, get out of your father's house, it didn't really make sense. Because if I want to leave Ghana, and I'm in this place, I'll first leave this building. Please, I hope you are listening. I'll leave this building. I'll leave Asqua. I'll go to Accra before I pick a plane or something and leave the country. But you read the scriptures and it goes the other way around. The first thing is leave your country. I didn't really get it. But it's very simple. As young people and young adults, there's something that God requires of each and every one of us. If you and you and I, if you and I want to, you know, we want to be great in this life, there's something you need to do. You need to come out of the pre-existing mentalities. I don't know if I'm getting my point across. You need to come out of certain hindrances, certain limitations. Oh, okay, our people are here. You need to come out of certain limitations. You need to come out of certain ideologies. Amen. And so it's an advice that I would like to give you. That even as we are growing, we will meet a lot of obstacles. We should endeavor to know the word of God, which will show us a different perspective to life. Amen. So that we can come out of certain notions and certain misconceptions and certain achievements that will block and limit us. Amen. Amen. So it's something small um, I've shared. So, um, so I'm starting again. Drama. Drama is here. Um, prisons. Prisons. Wow. Okay. And schools outreach. Schools outreach. Oh, my own wing too. Sorry. Okay. Heavenly jewels. Heavenly jewels. Okay. That's fine. We still have some few minutes.
Okay, hello. Welcome, Youth Ministry, to our interwings quiz. Please, I hope you're all excited. Please, let me see some shouting and clapping. Let me hear some excitement in the building. Okay. I am honored to be your host. You can call me Open Imagine. And we are about to start right away. We expect nothing but the best from our contestants. And before we begin, we are going to ballot for our sitting positions. So please, I need four reps, one representative from each of the wings to just come forward here. So please, one representative from each of the contestants should come forward. We are here to ballot for our sitting positions. Makando, come. One contestant from each of the con um, representatives. Please come forward. We are about to ballot for our sitting positions. So please, if you get number one, you are sitting in the first position. Two, three, four. Please, where are the rest of the competitors? Okay, all competitors, come forward. All competitors, come forward. All competitors, come forward, please. Please, you can clap for them as they come. Please, let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Okay. Okay, so let's have one rep from Drama Wing step forward. One, no, everybody remains. One rep from Drama Wing step forward. Prisons and hospitals. Heavenly jewels. Okay, schools outreach. Okay, so we will ballot for our positions. Okay, do we have a number one? Number one, Drama Wing, take the first position, climb up. Do you have a number two? Do we have a number three? Okay, please take the position. And then, naturally, number four will follow suit. Please, are we ready? Are we ready? Please, who is going to win? Who is going to win? Okay. So, this is a completely neutral competition. The best brains and the most anointed brains are going to win. We wish all contestants the very best. We will take a quick message from each of the teams, and then we will zoom right into it. So, we start from... What, introduce yourselves and then you tell me what you expect from this quiz. My name is Jeremiah Makendo Lante Lamte, representing Drama Wing. And everything I have to say is in my t shirt. Okay, so his t shirt is well. I don't know whether he's drinking well or it is well, but it is well. Amen. Please let's uh, put it on. Please, I'm Daniela Champong, representing Drama Ring. All I have to say is I will die for drama. Amen. Please, let's clap for them. Okay, please, can we introduce ourselves and a message? Um, my name is Nancy. And I'm Prisons and Hospital Wing. Hello. We are winning, for sure. So Nancy says they are winning for sure. Okay. Okay. Please, my name is Emmanuel Safo Kuman Kuma. And I'm representing prisons and hospital wing. And hello? Hello? We are. We, yeah, yeah, we are winning, yeah. Okay, please, let's clap for them. <laughs> okay, and our final hello. contestant. I'm Christopher, representing Schools Outreach Ministry. Although I'm lonely, but I want to tell you that I will never let you down. Schools Outreach Ministry. Please let's say it for Schools Outreach Ministry. Thank you. 
Oh, no. It's working. Okay. Um, due to our missing contestants, we are going to give a very short grace period after which we will start the competition. In the meantime, we want to go over the ground rules. Um, this is the PRWC Asuka Interwing Quiz. It is being represented by the four wings of the youth ministry, the schools outreach ministry, the prisons and hospital ministry, the heavily jewels, which is the music ministry, and then the drama wing, which is the drama ministry. We are going to have five distinct rounds. Five distinct rounds. We will have the opening round where we will ask each team a question, and then you have either 10 or 20 seconds to answer, depending on how in-depth the question is. After that, we're going to have a kind of quick fire round. In that particular round, Anybody who knows the answer and responds faster gets that round. Now, it gets interesting over there because if you get it at the first attempt, you get three points. If somebody gets that question wrong and you get it, you get two points. If you get it on the third attempt, you get one point. But uniformly, if you get it on any attempt and it is wrong, you will lose one whole point. After that, we will have the round three, which is the problem of the day. So you will be given additional time to solve that round. From there, we will move to round four, which will be true or false. So if the statement is true, you indicate it is true. If the statement is false, you indicate likewise. And then after that, we will have the almighty riddles segment. So you ask a number of riddles and based on the particular number of clues that had been read, you will be awarded the points accordingly. Please, if there are any questions at this point, we would like to hear them. So within our 10 or 20 seconds, do we have yes. the chance to give multiple answers so we get the right answer? Um, mostly I would say no. If it is allowed, it will be indicated, but for most questions, it would be no. But if there's any exception, it would be indicated. All right. So we are going to wait for an additional two minutes for our absentees. If they don't show up, you'll consider their positions four feet and we will zoom right into round one. Please, I hope that is okay. All right. Okay, so we have one more contestant joining us. Please introduce yourself and tell us what to expect from the competition. I hope you heard me. Our new contestant, please introduce yourself and tell us what you expect from the competition. I'm Kennedy Obey, Schools Outreach Ministry. We are hoping for the best. And then we are, we are taking the cup. Okay. And, and that is a question to all the wings. All right. So you heard it from the horse's own mouth. Okay, so we are beginning in the next minute. Barring a divine intervention, I think you will have three competitors. So we are waiting for another minute and then we will start. Okay. We have the apostolic action to start. So round one begins immediately. Please, let's take note of the instructions. In this round, a main question and a bonus question answered correctly are awarded three and one point respectively. So that means if you answer your main question, you get three points. If you answer a bonus, you get one point. 
Please, I have the timekeeper in the audience. <laughs> Okay, so let's keep listening to the instructions. For round one, the main question attracts three points. If you are unable to answer, the bonus is passed on. And if the bonus is answered correctly, it attracts one point. An incorrect answer to a bonus question will attract a penalty of one point. An incorrect answer will attract a penalty of one point, that's for a bonus question. You will have 10 questions ordinarily to answer each question for this round. But for some specific questions which may require enumeration or numbering or some explanation, you will be given 20 seconds and you will be told ahead of time. Please let's take note of this. Your answers must be as accurate and straightforward as possible. So please, we don't want roundabout answers. Please go straight to the point. Hit the nail on the head. <laughs> Where we give a preamble, each group will be um, required to take note of the preamble and answer the question according to the preamble given. Questions which have, which have preambles which require listing will not be provided as bonuses for the other competitors. Okay. So... We are about to start. My timekeepers, are we ready? Okay, so we begin. So we start from the first seat, which is drama wing. So please, let's take note, this round has 10 seconds to answer each. So question one, who is believed to be the author of the book of Acts? Luke. Correct for three points. Question two, to whom was the book of Acts written? Theophilus. Theophilus is correct for three points. Question three, how long did the risen Christ present himself alive to the apostles he had chosen before his ascension? How long did Christ present himself alive to the apostles he had chosen before ascension? It goes to you. 40 days. Please, let's take note of the sitting order. We are three competitors, so let's take note of that. Okay. Please, we are moving on to our second set. This is also 10 seconds each. According to Daniel chapter 1, King Nebuchadnezzar besieged Jerusalem during the reign of a king. Who was this king? King, king Jehoiakim. King Jehoiakim. Okay, that is correct for three points. The next question. In which year of this king's reign was Jerusalem besieged? Third year. The third year is correct for three points. Our next question. During the siege, vessels of God in the temple were also captured. Where was the final destination of these vessels after the siege? Babylon. Okay, we want a specific answer.
Okay, so we'll take that as a bonus to Drama Wing. Pass. Shina, the house of his God. All right, so that is correct. The land of Shina for one point bonus. That is to prisons and hospitals. Okay. We are moving to our next set of questions. Ten seconds each. Ten seconds each. This is a preamble, so all teams take note of the preamble. On the day of Pentecost, 15 different tribes and nations were present in Jerusalem, all of which were witnesses of a supernatural occurrence in the upper room. Now, let's take note of this. That's the preamble. 15 different tribes were present in Jerusalem, all of which were witnesses of a supernatural occurrence in the upper room. So now, the main question is, each group will mention, when it gets to your turn, you mention any two of these tribes or nations. So we'll start from Drama Wing. We have Asia and Rome. Please, louder. Asia and Rome. Asia and Rome. Sorry, Roman. <laughs> okay. I'll accept it. So, three points. The next team. The Medians and Parthians. Again? The Medes and Parthians. Okay. Correct for three points. Our next team. Two. All right, so you got one out of three. So you mentioned Egypt, so you get one out of three points. All right. No, no bonus for listing. It was in the instructions. Okay, so we move to our next set of questions. We start with Drama Wing. What is the meaning of the name Barnabas? Sound of encouragement. That is correct for three points. Barnabas means son of encouragement or son of consolation. All right, so the next question goes to prisons and hospitals. What is the meaning of the writing on the wall, you fasten, you fasten? Your kingdom has been divided and given to the patterns and the medians. Okay, that will be correct for three points. Our next question going to schools outreach. What is the meaning of the writing on the wall? Tackle, tackle. Okay, that is your time. A bonus to drama wing. Something like you are, you are. <laughs> Again? You are balanced off and found wanting. Again? You are balanced off and found wanting. Okay, so that will be correct for one point. So you have been found wanting in the balances. Okay. We move to our fifth set of questions for this round. And again, it is 10 seconds. This is a preamble. Let's take note of the preamble. During King Belshazzar's reign, Daniel was called upon to give meaning to the writing on the wall. The queen, amongst others, enumerated certain qualities, convincing the king on why Daniel was more than capable of interpreting the writings on the wall. Each group should provide two of these qualities spoken by the queen. But I'm going to make it a little bit fair. When it gets to your point, you give one quality, and then I'll come back for the second quality. So starting, I'll go over the preamble again. When it gets to your turn, you give me one quality, and then I'll come back to you. So the preamble again. During King Belshazzar's reign, Daniel was called upon to give the meaning 
of the writing on the wall, the queen, amongst others, enumerated certain qualities, convincing the king on why Daniel was more than capable of interpreting the writings of the wall. So, Drama Wayne, give me one of the qualities of Daniel given by the queen. He was understanding. Okay, that's one correct. Next. He was, he was having an excellent spirit. Mm, correct. Let's go. A man of wisdom. Okay, I'll accept it. Let's go, Drama Wing. Third of the spirit. Okay. I may not accept that. Let's move on. In him, in him dwells the spirit of the Holy God. Again? In him dwells the spirit of the Holy God. Of? Of Daniel. Dwell the spirit of? Of the Holy God, the Holy One. Okay, let's go on. Okay, so I'll give Drama Wing two out of three because the second one was a partial answer. And I'll give um, prisons and hospitals a full three out of three. And I will give pre um, schools outreach one out of three for one correct answer. So that will be for the fifth set of questions. Okay, we have our sixth set of questions, 20 seconds each. 20 seconds each. Please, let's take the preamble. Please, let's take the preamble for all three teams. So preamble. In three sentences, so each team will have their question, but the preamble will be the same. So in three sentences, give a detailed and organized account of the major happenings in the order that they occurred. That is the order of occurrence for each of these events and state where they can be found in the Bible. So I'll go over the preamble. In three sentences, give a detailed and organized account of the major happenings in the order of occurrence for each of these events and state where they can be found in the Bible. So question one goes to Drama Wink, Ananias and Sapphira. Ananias and Sapphira are married couples who sold their property um, as part of uh, the disciples give, uh, selling their properties to share amongst those who were needy. They sold theirs and didn't give the full amount that they got from selling their property and they lied to the Holy Spirit. It's 20 seconds. Keep on going. Go as a result of that, they died. Ananias died first, and the wife came in later on, and she also died. And where to be found? Act 5, chapter 1 to 4. <laughs> Acts 5, chapter, Acts chapter 1. Sorry, Acts chapter 5, verse 1. Okay, I'll give you two out of three. I'll give you two out of three. Okay, so it was a good attempt. Um, it is in Acts 5. It's a 1 to 11, so it was a good attempt. And um, um, I think there was an important thing to be mentioned that the apostle Paul recognized their deception and put it to them that they deceived the Holy Spirit. So that was important to note. So I'll give you two out of three for that attempt. Please, the same preamble. So let me just go over it. Give the account in three sentences in order of occurrence and state where this account can be found in the Bible. So prisons and hospitals. Question two to you. Daniel's friends and the image of gold. Okay. It can be found in the book of Daniel chapter three. And this is the account. Um, the Bible says that King Nebuchadnezzar raised a gold statue in order that the, the, all the people of the nation should bow to it. And the Chaldeans report, reported to the king that there are certain men 
in your land who do not worship the gold statue. So the king record, re requested that um, Dan, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought to the king. And he ordered them that at the sound of all the musical instruments, they should bow down to it. And they said, they said to the king that we need not answer in this matter. For we know that the God whom we serve is able to deliver us. And even if you, he will not deliver us, know for sure, King, that we will not worship your idol nor be bowed to the gold statue which you have set up. Okay. So two out of three. Okay. Did you talk about they were thrown into the furnace? Okay, so because of that, I'll give you two out of three. Okay. So it was important to know that they were thrown into the furnace and they were miraculously saved. And that was actually the main story, point of the story. But it was found in Daniel 3 and everything you said was correct. So two out of three. Okay, so the same preamble to schools outreach. Three sentences, you tell me where it's found in the Bible in the order of occurrence. <laughs> Cornelius' conversion. The conversion of Cornelius. So it starts now. The Bible talks about he was such a great man, a very humble man, God-fearing man, but he needed something that was missing in his life. Until one day, the household received the message and then Cornelius turned to God. That is Acts chapter 12, found in Acts chapter 12. Okay, so it is found in Acts chapter 10, verse 1 to 48, and your account was generally correct, but because um, time was against you and you got the quotation wrong, I'll give you one out of three, one out of three. Please, we take a preamble for the next set of questions. You have 10 seconds for this round. Preamble. With the exception of King Nebuchadnezzar, there are four kings named in the book of Daniel under which Daniel served. So when it gets to you, you name one of the kings. So drama wing. King Belshazzar, yes. King Darius. King Darius, yes. King Cyrus, yes. So all teams got it correct for three points each. All teams got it correct for three points each. Our next set of questions. So we start from Drama Wing. At which age did King Darius receive the kingdom? You have 20 seconds each. At which age did King Darius receive the kingdom? Twenty-eight. No, that is wrong. For a bonus, sixty-two. Correct for one point two. Prisons and hospitals. Prisons and hospitals. Your main question. Twenty seconds. How many satraps did Darius seek to set over the kingdom? One twenty. One twenty. Correct for three points. Schools outreach. What was the name of the leading citizen of the island? Paul's ship shipwrecked on, on his way to Rome. What was the name of the leading citizen of the island? Okay, bonus to any, anyone? Water. You say? The correct answer is Publius. So that would be minus one for a wrong bonus answer. Our ninth set of questions, 10 seconds. Please listen to the preamble. Preamble. For each of the following statements, state who made that statement. And you have 10 seconds for this round. So question one going to Drama Wing. 
There is a certain man left prisoner by Felix, about whom the chief priests and the elders of the Jews informed me when Paul. I was in. Again? Paul. It's wrong for. Festus. Okay. A prisoner. Is that a, a prisoner? Please let me hear the bonus again. The an your answer? Festus. Okay, Prisoner. correct. So, co bonus correct for one point. <laughs> so, it's Porcius Festus or Festus. So, prisons and hospitals, your main question. Can anyone forbid water that they should not be baptized who receive the Holy Spirit just as we have? Peter. Correct for three points. Schools outreach, your main question. Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Who made the statement? You still have 10 seconds. Those who, time is up. Bonus. Okay, so the answer is the angel. The angel. Is it? Oh, I thought I threw the bonus. Okay. Next time. So we are taking our final set of questions for round one. Please, this is 20 seconds each. So please, these are the instructions. The following are events that happened. For each of these events, give the reason for the event. So we start from Drama Wing. The uproar or the riot in Ephesus. The uproar or the riot in Ephesus. 20 seconds begin now. Demetrius, um, a silversmith, um, started a riot because he feared um, his profession is at stake because he made um, he he molded stuff that they were used to worship idols, the goddess. Okay, so, I'll give you the point. Three. Uh, question two to schools outreach um, to prisons and hospitals. So give the reason for this event. The division of the Sanhedrin over Paul's defense. 20 seconds begin now. The reason was um, the resurrection of the dead. Some be believed that the dead do not res uh, resurrect after, uh, after they die. And others also believe that there is a resurrection of the dead. So that caused a division. Okay, I'll give you the points. Okay, and our final question for this round, 20 seconds. Belshazzar's fall to schools outreach. 20 seconds begin now. Belshazzar's fall. He disobeyed God and that made him fall. Again? He disobeyed God. His, his act was an act of disobedience, but I wanted some more details. So he had ordered that the vessels of God, which were seized by his father from Jerusalem, be brought to him. And he defiled the vessels by drinking from them, and God judged him. So I'll give you one out of three for an incomplete answer. Okay. So this brings us to the end of round one. So let's give it up for our contestants. They've done very well.
Okay. At the end of this round, we will take the scores for round one. So at the end of this round, which is round two, we will take the scores for round one. So round two is beginning. In this round, please let's pay attention, our contestants. In this round, a set of questions will be given to all wings. Whichever wing that answers correctly first will be awarded three points. Okay. Noted. If a team answers correctly, after a team has already answered wrongly, they will be given two points. So please Hello. let's take note Hello. of it. The first team that answers correctly gets their full three points. If you answer wrongly, however, you lose a precious point. And, and the next team that gets it correct will get two points. If that second team also gets it wrong, they lose one point. And the third team to attempt and guess it's correct gets one point. If the third attempt also gets it wrong, you also lose a point. So you lose a point for any wrong answer, but for your first attempt, you get three points, second attempt, two points, third attempt, one point. Please, I hope it's clear. Okay, um, Brown Wayne, can, can you do an audio test for us? Make sure your mic is working. Hello. Okay, let's... Hello. Okay. Hello. All right. So, are we ready? Okay. Um, so... We don't have a bell right now, so if you want to answer, say the word answer into your mic. And then once you've been identified as the first person to draw my attention, you'll be given the opportunity to answer the question. Is that clear? So if you want to make an attempt, you say the word answer to draw my attention, and then you'll be given the opportunity to answer first. Please, is that clear? Yes. Okay. So remember, the marks are distributed three, two, one, based on the order of attempts made. And each wrong answer attracts a penalty of one point, one point deducted for a wrong answer. Round two begins now. Question one, to all teams. For each of the following scriptures, quote what has been written there. So I give you the quotation, and then you quote the scripture. So question one, Daniel 11, 32. They that know their God shall be strong and do exploit. The, the, please, uh, I just said the B, the A, the wicked shall perish. <laughs> But they don't know their God shall be strong and do exploit. I don't know. I'll give you two out of three. So the full quote is, Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Please, because this is the first question, I will pardon you. But what I said was that say the word answer so that I identify you and then you speak. This is just to prevent an occasion of two people speaking at once and we can't distinguish who started. So please see the word answer. I'll point to you and then you can answer. Please, is that clear? Yes, sir. We go to the second quotation. Acts 1 7. They asked Jesus, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And Jesus said, For the times and season, it is <laughs> for the time says it is not to you to know what God has put in his own own authority. I <laughs> Okay, I'll give you the points, the three points. But for the final time, 
Please say the word answer before you start speaking. I will start penalizing after this. So please, if you don't draw my attention before answering, if you get a right answer, I'll deduct one. If you get a wrong answer, I'll deduct two. So please, is this clear? So just to be clear, say the word answer to draw my attention before you give the answer. The third question, Daniel 1.8. Answer. Yes. Daniel purposed in his heart that he will, not, he will not defile himself with the king's food, the king's delicacies. Okay, one out of three. Nor which the wine with which he drank, therefore he requested of the chief of the Enochs that he might not defile himself. So I get you get one out of three. Okay. The next question. Daniel six twenty two. Okay, I think no attempt. Then Daniel said to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouth so that they have not hurt me because I was found innocent before him. And also, O king, I have done no wrong before you. Next question, Acts 1.8. Answer. <laughs> Prisons. Answer. Wait, Prisons. Don't go to first. Prisons was no. first. Prisons was first. Ah, I was answer. watching them. But you shall I receive power answer. after the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses, both in Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Please take it again. But you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses, witnesses in Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. <laughs> okay. Did you mention Jerusalem? No. <laughs> okay. So I'll deduct a precious point for that. Yeah, it's true. The, the only reason I'll deduct is because Jerusalem was kind of the seat where the command was given and if you had left any of the others, I would have given it to you, but I believe Jerusalem was quite important. But it was a very good attempt, so I'll give you two out of three. Okay. Please, let's take the next question. Acts 20.32. Okay, I think that's our time. So now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. Our next question, Acts 4.33. That's our time. And with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Next question, Daniel 1.17. That's our time. As for these four young men, God gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Next question, Daniel 12, 3. Okay. 
Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Our final question for this round, Daniel 12, 13. But you go your way till the end, for you shall rest and will arise your inheritance at the end of the days. Okay. So we take our second set of questions. Remember, this still goes to all wings. For each of the following, give the personality who uttered these words. I fear my Lord the King, who has appointed your food and drink. For why should he see your faces looking worse than the young men who are also your age? Then you would endanger my head before the king. The captain of the Enoch of the king. Hey. <laughs> so should I deduct? Okay, I'll give you two out of three. Not only because you did not say the word answer, but you did not give me the name of the person. But he is the captain of the Enoch. His name is Ash Penas. Ash Penas. Our next question. So please remember to say answer so that I can call upon you. Give me the personality who uttered these words. Please test your servants for 10 days and let them give us vegetables to eat and water answer, to drink. Answer, Daniel. I said answer, and I said Daniel. <laughs> Two out of three. Please, the instructions are simple. When you say answer, wait for me to call on you. So the answer is correct. It is Daniel. But please, following the instructions is part of the competition. Please, let's take note. For the final time, when you want to answer, say answer. I will call you, then you tell me the answer. Please, is that fine? Okay. So give me the personality who said this. And in the days of these kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand on Answer. Answer. Yes. Drama. Daniel. 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 Okay. So, prisons and hospitals. It was drama. Was drama. 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 It was, dr it was yeah. drama. Yeah. Okay. So, three points for drama. The next statement. But God spoke in this way, that his descendants would dwell in a foreign land and that they would bring them into bondage and oppress them 400 years. And the nation to whom they will be in bondage, I will judge, said God. And after they shall come out and save me in this place. Then he gave him the covenant of circumcision. Answer. Okay. Daniel. Okay, that is a wrong answer. So, minus answer. one. Okay. Steven. Yes, correct for two points for the second attempt. So, the next statement. It is not desirable that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Answer. Drama wing. Peter. Wrong Bonus. Okay, so that's our time. The answer is the twelve. The twelve.
Okay, so our next statement. Our next statement. Please, if you think you have the answer, you may interrupt me and I'll call upon you whilst I'm reading the statement. In truth, I perceive that God shows no partiality, but in every nation. Answer. Peter. Correct for three points. Our next statement. If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to my house and stay. Answer. Yes. Lydia. Correct for three points. Our final question for this set. Men of Israel, help. This is the man who teaches all men everywhere against the people, the law, and this place. And furthermore, he also brought Greeks into the temple and has defiled this holy place. Answer. Demetrius. Wrong. This man was one, please. <laughs> oh, that's our time. The answer is the Jews from Asia. The Jews from Asia. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this round. The end of this round. Please, I'll take the scores for round one for my accurate scorekeepers. So can we have the scores for round one? As we wait for the scores for round one and possibly round two as well, we introduce our next segment, which shall be problem of the day. Problem of the day. In this round, each team shall be given five minutes to solve the problem of the day. And as it indicates, it will be a bit more involving than the problems we've seen so far. Hence, the extra time, that is five minutes. So each team will be given a sheet of paper to solve the round. As we wait for our sheets of paper so that I read out the problem of the day and we start the third round, let us hear the scores for round one. In round one, we had schools outreach bringing up the rear with 10 points. Please, let's give it up for them. It is not easy. Following in their heels is Drama Wing with 22 points. Naturally, that leaves us with schools, I mean prisons and hospital wing, leading round one with 32 points. Shall we give it up for them? So those were the scores at the end of round one. So we begin round three with problem of the day. Problem of the day. Please take note of the statement. In the book of Acts, in the book of Acts, Paul the apostle of Christ was seized by a mob in Jerusalem on the grounds that by bringing Greeks into the temple, he had desecrated the temple. He was arrested and had to appeal to the Sanhedrin and later had to appear before Nero, whom he had appealed to. State in order, that is, state in order, the places recorded that Paul went through as he journeyed to appear before Caesar in Rome. So I'll go over the question again. And after I go over, you have five minutes to answer. In the book of Acts, Paul, the apostle of Christ, was seized by a mob in Jerusalem on the grounds that he had brought Greeks into the temple and he had desecrated the temple. He was arrested and he had to appeal to the Sanhedrin and later he had to appear before Nero, whom he had appealed to. So this is the question. State in order, that's the correct order, the places recorded in the Bible that Paul went through as he journeyed to appear before Caesar in Rome. You have five minutes. Problem of the day begins now.
10 seconds more. All contestants, turn in your answers. All contestants, turn in your answers. Approach me with your answers. Okay, so we've had the answers turned in for round three. That is problem of the day. You'll give us a few minutes to review the answers and then we'll deliver the verdict.
Okay. So please, the question was to list the places Paul travels through on his way to meet Caesar. And these are the answers. He started from Jerusalem, went to Caesarea, then Sidon, then Myra, then on to Salmon, Fair Havens, Melita, also known as Malta, Syracuse or Sicily, Regium, and then finally to Rome, that is Italy. I start from schools outreach. Schools outreach was not able to give us the places, but we award them for an attempt, two out of 10 marks. Two out of 10 marks. Drama Wing was able to give us Jerusalem, the starting points correctly. And they also let us know that eventually we pass through Malta. And for that effort, that's, we try to give each team some extra points. That's why we give schools outreach two out of 10. So we also give Drama Wing five out of 10. Prisons and hospitals started with Jerusalem correctly. And then we passed through some waters and we got to Malta, also correct. Then we also passed through some waters and then we ended up in Rome, which was correct. And for three correct answers, given also in the correct order, we will give them seven out of ten. So for round three, we have two out of ten for schools outreach. We have five out of ten for drama wing. And we have seven out of ten for prisons and hospitals wing. We also have the scores in for round two. For schools outreach, we have minus one for round two. For prisons, for drama wing, we have... Okay, so for drama wing, we have one point. And for prisons and hospitals wing, we have 20 points. That is for round two. We move to another exciting round of today's quiz competition, and I think it's a favorite for a lot of people. This is the true or false round. In this round, each team will be presented with a question which requires a true or false answer. There will be no bonus in this round except the team provides no answer, whereupon the question will be transferred to the next team in chronological order. Each correct answer attracts two points, and a wrong answer is penalized by one point. So if you get a correct plus two, if you get a wrong minus one, if you don't give an answer, zero, and the question is carried as a bonus to the next team. Team, are you ready? How are we feeling? Are we excited? Okay, so round four begins now. So we start with drama wing. Question one. So it's true or false? Barnabas was a Levite from Cyprus whose actual name was Joseph. False is correct. His actual name was Joseph. Question two, that goes to prisons and hospitals. The Jewish man who persuaded the Sanhedrin to let the apostles go 
after the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison was Gamaliel, the Sadducee. That is a false statement. Gal Gamaliel, yes, correct, but he was not a Sadducee. He was a Pharisee. <laughs> so question three to schools outreach. After Paul healed the cripple in Lystra, the people called him Zeus and called Barnabas Hermes. True. True? Is your answer true? Sure. Okay, so it is a false statement. It was the other way around. Paul was called Hermes and Barnabas was called Zeus. So we take our next statement. Okay. So to drama wing. There was no Jewish synagogue in Thessalonica. It is a false statement. The next question. The missionaries' journeys of Paul recorded in the book of Acts are three. Missionary journeys of Paul are three. False. Okay. The, the time was against you, so no, no answer for you. Bonus to schools outreach. You can ignore it and then go to drama wing. False. 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 Actually, the answer is true. The answer is true. Our next statement. Paul was handed over to Claudius Lysias with a letter from Governor Felix. Uh, sorry, I think that's your question. Yeah. yeah. So I'll take it again, please. Let's reset the timer. Paul was handed over to Claudius Lysias with a letter from Governor Felix. True. Um, it's a false statement. He was handed over to the governor with a letter from Claudius. So our next set of questions, drama wing. Jesus is slapped in the Gospel of Luke, and Paul is slapped in the book of Acts. Jesus is slapped in Luke, Paul is slapped in Acts. Okay, you were timed out. Okay, it coincided. However, the answer is true. <laughs> Our next question. Paul appealed to Caesar after Festus discussed his case with King Agrippa. True. It's a false statement. He had already appeared before Agrippa days later, or he had, he had already appealed before Agrippa arrived there days later. Our next question to schools outreach. In Nebuchadnezzar's dream in Daniel chapter 2, the object that hits the feet of the statue of a man or the image made of different metals and broke it into pieces was a stone. False. Um, this is a true statement. The object which broke him into pieces was indeed a stone. Our next question, drama wing. The chest and arms of the statue in Daniel chapter 2 were made of gold.
You have an answer. Okay, no answer. Bonus. False. Yes, it is a false statement. It is a false statement. Okay, so the next question for prisons and hospitals, your main question. The stomach and thighs of the statue were made of silver. False. Correct, it is a false statement. Schools outreach, your main question. The leg was made of iron. True. True, that is correct. Drama wing. The feet of the statue were made of iron mixed with glass. False. Correct, it is a false statement. Prisons and hospitals. The ram in Daniel's vision in Daniel 8 mm -hmm. had two horns. Yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> true. Correct, yeah. it is true. Yeah. Schools outreach. Archangel Michael told Daniel the meaning of his vision of the ram and the goat. False. Okay, your answer was false, right? And it is correct. It is correct. Okay, so drama wing, your main question. The 70 weeks prophecy in Daniel chapter 9, verse 24 to 27, refers to the destruction of Babylon. False. Correct, it is a false statement. It refers to the coming of the Messiah. Prisons and hospitals, your main question. In Daniel chapter 10, Daniel saw a great and terrible beast standing by the river Hidekel. True. It is false. In Daniel chapter 10, there was a man clothed in linen. That was what Daniel saw. Question 18 to schools outreach. Daniel fell ill and weak when he saw the vision by the river Hidekel. False. Um, that is wrong. The statement is true. Daniel indeed fell ill and weak. So we take our final set of questions for this round. So Drama Wing, you take the next question, your final question for this round. King Nebuchadnezzar's golden image was 60 cubits wide and 6 cubits high. It is false. It was the other way around. It was six cubits wide, 60 cubits high. So, prisons and hospitals, your final question for the round. In Daniel's vision, in chapter 7, verse 21, the horn waged war against the saints and prevailed over them. True. Correct. It is a true statement. And our final question for this round, which goes to schools outreach. In Acts chapter 8, the book of prophecy, the Ethiopian Enoch was reading, the book of prophecy that the Ethiopian Enoch was reading, when Philip met him, was Daniel. False. Correct. It is a false statement. The book was Isaiah. And that brings us to another exciting round of the Interwings quiz competition of PIWC Asokwa. Contestants, is it? It brings us to the end of the round, but not the quiz. So we have our final round, which is, I believe, the favorite round of most people 
the riddles segment. The riddles segment. So after this segment, we will take the scores for round four. We will sum up everything, and then we will have the final tally for the whole competition, and thus the winner for the competition. Please, are we ready? Audience, are we ready? Okay, so we are ready for riddles, our ultimate round for this competition. Please, let's take the instructions. In this round, each riddle is made up of five clues. If you get the answer on the first clue, five points are awarded. If you get it on the second clue, how many points? Four. If you get it on the third or any other clue after that, three points are awarded. Each team gets only one attempt, so please make your best attempt. There are no deductions for this round, but if you make a wrong attempt, that is the only you get. Before I start reading the riddles, these are the scores for round four. At the end of the fourth round, these are not the totals, just the scores for the rounds. Drama Wing and Schools Outreach tied round four with nine points each. Nine points each for Drama Wing and Schools Outreach. And Prisons and Hospital Wing had 10 points for round four. 10 points for round four. We begin with our first riddle. So whenever I pause, that means that's the end of a clue. So riddle one, I was a revered and an important personality in the early church. I indirectly played a major role in the liberation of the Israelites from Egypt. Thus, the meaning of my name is the accomplice in the eighth plague of Egypt in the book of Exodus. You may know me as a prophet. If I still do not ring a bell, you may ask Paul because I have a bus in my name. Who am I? There are no deductions, so you can try, but you get one chance. Audience. Can I hear you? Bersaza. It's a wrong. Audience. End. Our time is up. The correct answer is Agabus. Agabus. So Agabus means locust, so that is the correlation with the plague of Egypt. Okay. So please, I think I forgot to give this instruction. If you are ready to answer, just like the round, I believe was it round three or round two, say the word answer and then you give me the answer. And you have one attempt, one attempt. Our second riddle. I am a lover of horses. I was described by the congregation in the early church as full of wisdom and the Holy Spirit. I want to ask, do you understand this reading? I think I need to guide you. Answer, yes. Philip. Philip is the correct answer. And I read the third clue, so three points, three points. Philip means lover of horses. So clue one referred to the meaning of Philip, lover of horses. Riddle number three. Riddle number three. All right. And just for your information, we will have five riddles. So the third riddle. 
I was a prominent official in the courts of King Nebuchadnezzar. I am the ash who makes prominent the sprinkled. To me, King Nebuchadnezzar entrusted tasks that were very dear to him because he had no family ties or hoped to have one. Answer. Yes. Daniel. Wrong. I continue. Clue number four. Which is, I was tasked to admit the very best of the best to serve in the king's court. You may know me as the chief of the Enochs. Answer. Yes, drama. Neoza. Wrong. Aspinas. Okay, so that's our time. The correct answer is Aspenas. Unfortunately, we only get one attempt. And I think this also means we are not paying attention during the rounds because Aspenas appeared as an answer to a previous question in the rounds. So I think you guys would have gotten it correct, right? Yes, because it was your question. There's no bonus in riddles, I'm sorry. Riddle number four. I am a prophet of the early church. From inspection, my surname gives out the hint of me being a just one. If you know Apostle Boete, then you should also know me. Also, you may know me to be the son of Sabbath. If by now you still do not know me, I was nominated together with Mathos to fill the void Judas Iscariot had. Answer. Missed. Yes. Matthias. Answer. Matthias. No. Answer, Joseph. <laughs> Basabas, okay. Joseph Basabas. That is correct, that is correct, that is correct. So the answer is Basabas or Joseph. And his surname is Justus, which implies that he is a just person. Our last riddle and our final question for this entire competition. Riddle number five. Contestants, let's pay attention. I am a revered man of God. My name appears 74 times in the Bible. And also, I was chosen as part of the king's program for training young people to work in his court. You could say, during the event of the golden image, I was not involved because as far as the king was concerned, I was a god to him. Answer, Paul. Wrong, we go on. Answer, Daniel. Daniel is the correct answer, and that brings us to the end of round five and the competition as a whole. Thank you very much, contestants, for participating in this year's Interwing Quiz Competition. Okay, so we will tally all our scores for the entire competition and we will deliver our results and we will crown a winner. Before that, I'll take a word from each, each wing. I'll start from those closest to me. Schools Outreach, how are we feeling? Yeah, very bad. Oh, Why? The late information was given. I just told my leader that maybe this will be the last time I will join the ministry because I came to disgrace myself in the ministry. Oh, I don't think you should so say that. So I pray next time an early information will be given out for us to prepare ourselves because we love the ministry and we wish not to disgrace this ministry at all. Okay. Well, that is the comment from Schools Outreach. 
he believes given adequate time, he would have prepared better. But um, what I can also say is that I believe everybody was given adequate time, so I, I will accept the point, but then I think that the fact that you made yourself available for the task is an honor in itself. So don't feel bad. You represented when others could not, so well done for even showing up. And we've not even read the results, so I don't know why you are marking yourself. Don't, don't mark yourself yet. We, we, we move to prisons and hospitals. Prisons and hospitals, how, how are you feeling? Um, we thank God. <laughs> we thank God. Yeah, we thank God. And okay. I would like, also like to um, really thank my partners because we were able to work together. We prepared together before coming. Okay, okay. So the prayer made a difference. The prayer made a difference. Yes, and teamwork. And teamwork, okay. So as they say, teamwork makes the dream work. So... That was a good one there. Drama Wing, how are you feeling? Yeah. Indifference. <laughs> Indifference? Yes. Tell me anyway, more. I have Tell a me question. More. I have a question for my quiz master. I have a question for the quiz master. Yes. Fortunately for me, I'm not on the hot seat. So I think I'll take the question after I've read out these results, which I have just received from our accurate timekeeper and score master. Are we ready for our results? I, I, sir. Okay. So, in the second runner up, let me start from the last position. The last position is taken by Heavenly Jewels who were not present, so I'll give them minus 20 for absenteeism. So our next competition, maybe they'll have to score 20 before they start from zero, because I did not receive any word from them that they'll be absent. So we go to our second runner-up with a very respectable 20 points, which was not easy at all. Shall we give it up? For the Schools Outreach Ministry, let's give it up for them. Schools Outreach, they netted a total of 20 points. So at the end of round five, let me just backtrack a little. Drama Wing and Schools Outreach had no points for the riddles. And then prisons and hospitals wing had nine points for the round five. That is the riddles section. <laughs> okay. So our first runner up had 37 points. 37 points. Let's give it up. And the first position, the first place, had an astounding 78 points. So before I announce the winner, shall we give it up for our second place competitor, Drama Wing. Let's give it up, Drama Wing, with a respectable 37 points, leaving us with the winner for tonight's competition, performing an unbelievable 78 points, Prisons and Hospital Wing. Shall we give it up for them? They did an amazing job, unprecedented, and a lovely show of sportsmanship from Schools Outreach. Thank you for that show of sportsmanship. Okay, so that brings us to the end of an exciting quiz competition. I have enjoyed being your quiz master. I am Open Imagine. You have been a wonderful audience. Thank you very much for joining us. And see us next time when we do for another exciting round of the Interwing Quiz Competition. Let's give it up one more time. My question. Our contestants, let's take off the stage. My question. <laughs> you can tell My me, question. Chambers. <laughs> Help. Please, let's, let's keep clapping for them. They've, they've really done well. Honestly. Um, I think a week ago, 
I was talking with Nat when he mentioned there's a problem of the day in the quiz. And I was asking myself, problem of the day in a Bible quiz? And he said yes. So when I received the questions and I went to, I realized it wouldn't be easy. But God richly bless all of you. God richly bless you. Please, if you brought an offering, you can kindly bring it as we listen to these announcements. Please, we'll meet next week, Monday, and it's as part of the Appreciation Week. So kindly prepare yourself as we appreciate our resident minister. We'll be taking testimonies and well wishes and everything. So please, let's kindly prepare ourselves. And then from the 22nd to 28th of July, it's our Youth Week. Please, it's our day. So when you are coming, kindly invite others. Um, the program, the activities for the week are ready. So we we'll post it on the youth page so that everybody can have an idea about what we are going to do on each day of the week. God richly bless you for coming for tonight's service. God bless you all. Uh, Someone, someone whispered in my ears that schools outreach, the, how do we call it, the competition, we have levels or stages. There are stages, right? <laughs> the rounds. They said that the rounds that they were able to conquer or win was choose to be the... <laughs> And, and someone also asked, are, are all these things in the Bible? <laughs> uh, so we thank God. I've really enjoyed tonight. There were so many things I personally did not know or I've read, but I've not seen it to be so much important. We would want to uh, appreciate our contestants. They've They've, they've, they've spent time to study scriptures uh, to, to make this night a wonderful one. So we will call all our contestants, then we would want to appreciate them. So from schools outreach, our contestants, let's appreciate them. Schools outreach, let's appreciate them. So God bless you. God bless you. We want to appreciate Drama Wing. Drama Wing, God bless you. Where is your other? So you give to God bless you. We want to appreciate our quiz master. We want to appreciate our quiz master. God bless you. God bless you. Then we want to finally appreciate our winners for tonight. We want to appreciate them. God bless you then God bless you. Okay. So, we thank God for a wonderful evening. We will call Dikin Edubin to pray and bless us. Dikin Edubin will come and pray and bless us. God bless you for coming. Uh, let's meet at Please, shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, we are so grateful for a wonderful time like this. It is just a great joy to share knowledge of your word. And I believe that we have all been blessed as we have discussed and shared your word. We pray committing ourselves into your hands, O oh God. Even as, O oh Lord, your word has come to us through this quiz, may we not just be hearers of your word, but grant us grace to be doers of your word and walk with it all the days of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We commit ourselves into your hands even as we are going to our various homes. Continue to be with us. Let your spirit brood over our lives, O oh God, and preserve over us, O oh God, even as we sleep. Reveal yourself unto us, O oh Lord, and continue to guide our steps to stay faithful and stay committed to your cause all the days of our lives. We thank you for the youth ministry. We pray that, Lord, you continue to 
be with us all, those at home. Father, continue to place a burden of this ministry on their hearts that as and when we are called upon to meet, Father, may you draw men, oh God, to this place that together with one accord will continue to bless you. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.